Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Shadowverse. Now, this game is kind of like Hearthstone in a way, but it has a little bit of twist to it. But, it's still pretty much the same as Hearthstone. So we're going to get pretty much into the game. Now, I'm going to be playing uh, the story mode, because I'm still trying to finish the story mode and get, like, better cards. Because my deck is definitely not for, PV for PvP just yet. You do get, like, bonus cards for uh, doing the whole story mode. And some of the characters can get pretty annoying. The most annoying character to me is this one. So, her voice is just, like, so annoying. And how her personality is, is really annoying. But when I'm pretty much showing you guys the match and everything, I'm going to be um, doing a card opening. Just pretty much, I just got, like, 15 packs to open of the uh, Rise of Bahamut. Now, this game is made by the same people who pl who made uh, Rage of Bahamut, the uh, mobile like battle card game that I used to play, but then they got money hungry, then I just dropped it all together. Um, they're not really money hungry on this game. I really hope they don't get that way, because then I would just ruin the game all together. Because this is actually a really good Hearthstone clone game. This is really, like, really fun and interesting. I'll show you guys now and start rambling on. Then after we're done, we're going to pretty much uh, start up the um, card pack opening. Now each of these characters have their own like type, which is pretty much forest craft, sword, rune, dragon, shadow, blood, and then there's heaven. They either, they all have their own mechanics in their deck. So pretty much necromancy is pretty much hers. Then there's spell ups which is for runes, which I'm pretty sure you guys know what spell ups are if you played Hearthstone. But you you pretty much learn it as you play it. So I'm not going to try and spend too much time. I'm going to actually show you guys now how it is. And I'll show you guys the deck I'm going to be using because I'm going to be playing a different one other than the freaking rune uh, story because I'm at the end of it right now and it is pretty annoying because I keep losing. Because, you know, I'm playing the spell-up deck. I can't really play, blame it on the deck because I s still don't have good cards for it. But, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to play in that one. Why not? You guys are going to watch me lose. Now, here's pretty much my whole, like, deck up here. Or was this one the deck? No, this is just pretty much adding cards. This is the, my whole deck up here. So, where's a spell up card to actually show you guys an example? Like, each time you, uh... No, I'm just going to show it. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This was a, a little bit more difficult to explain. I never was a Hearthstone fan, but this game definitely, like, has its appeal to me because I used to love Rage of Bahamut. So, yeah. Uh, pretty sure I gotta. Those creatures should have been here. Move my cam a little bit over, because there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff popping up right there. But I'm gonna get out of here for that. That dragon. Our investigation is still ongoing, but the information we have strongly suggests that your fiancé, Kyle, is dead. That's the one. Quite the story behind her. That's the one that killed Kyle. Pretty much, she's trying to resurrect her husband. What? Or fiancé. Yeah, it was her fiancé she was trying to resurrect. Dragspear? So where have you been? When it happened, Kyle was on your squad. Do you know how much of the military's report was true? I'm sorry, Isabel. I've been one sorry excuse for a commander. Are you the one who did it? I Isabel, what are you doing here? Tell me, did you kill Kyle? Please, hear me out. Dragspear! Isabel, we were attacked. I tried to save him. You killed him, didn't you? It was an accident. You monster! No, Isabel, wait! You're going to pay for this! 
Like, you can already see, see the... Um, the story's actually pretty interesting. And some of this stuff would actually blow your mind. Because all of the stories and through the, all the different characters are actually connected. I guess you're looking for a fight. Oh god, this I'm going for first. My family. So it pretty much starts out like the normal Hearthstone. Get rid of cards you don't want. Uh, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of her. So let's... Hmm. Yeah, let's just get rid of her. All right, I'll take that one. Why not? Now, the thing that makes this game way different is because we have evolutions. We can actually evolve our cards in the middle of it. So, right now, evolution is locked because you have to wait four turns. But the person who goes second gets three times to evolve, and the person who goes first only gets two. Which was kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm going to draw a card here. I'm not going to sure if I'm going to... Now, I'm not really sure if I'm going to actually win this. Roar. But we're going to see if I can actually clutch up. Yeah, I can't use anything else. Wait. Yeah, that would make no point of putting that out there. Uh. But as you see... When I once I use the spell, each spell I use actually boosts up another spell that takes a uh, spell boost. So if this card, uh, so technically, if I use a spell, it boosts this card, and this is the buff I get for using that spell. So pretty simple, pretty simple. God, that worries me that he hasn't played anything just yet. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. So we're almost at turn two. There we go. We finally summoned something. Uh, let's see what she does. Okay, when she dies, I get. Oh God. He's going to gain an uh, actual orb if I kill her. Hmm. Crystals, oh crystals, shine. Now, when I evolve him, he starts spell boosting. Well, he spell boosts uh, my cards by one. Be gone! As you see, he evolved his card and it's Scorch. gotten stronger. Into the unknown. And it also gets another effect. What's happening? Unbelievable. Now I can actually evolve my cards. Uh hold on. Oh yeah, you do have emojis too. How do you do? Reporting for duty. <laughs> the bots actually answer back, but Let's see. What am I going to use here? Hmm. Oh, if it's evolved, so... Let's get rid of him. Oh, well. Yep. Rip that turn. Calamity is born again! But he can't attack that round. So, what I'm going to do now... get rid of that again. Why spell boosting louder cards? Who dares unlock such mysteries? Now I can look at what cards are spell boosted by holding this down. Now this one has seven, so golly it's chilly here. Damn it. So I pretty much sent that card back to its hand, so now I have a full team of snowmans. But I can't summon anything else just yet. Because my whole like field is filled up, so I can't keep relying on you, Dragon. You're all through. Alright, wait, is he a storm? I feel slushy. Yeah. He has storm, so he can automatically attack when he pops up. 
Uh, let's see, what else can we do? First, we can get rid of that. You like the cold? You like the cold? I feel slushy. You like the cold? You like the cold? Alright, so what we're gonna do now is summon her. Yeah, if I would have summoned her, uh, like, earlier, I would have automatically killed him, but I need another monster up who can deal damage right now. I feel slushy. Now watch this! Yes. My dragon and I are one! Oppose me and burn! Now this is why I don't like I'm fighting Dragon here because he's so strong. Now, he can't, like, straight up attack me, I believe. I'm just gonna summon that just in case. Oh. I can't keep relying on you but yeah, I have these guys to protect me. Such mysteries. It won't be long now. As long as we've got each other. Oh. But now, we're probably going to worry about him soon. Golly, it's chilly it's here! Golly, it's chilly it's here! Golly, it's chilly here! Now, my whole field is full again. So, if these guys attack, they're pretty much not going to get anything off of it. But I am going to evolve this. You're done for! Ooh, this is real Scott. You like the cold? Because I want to get him down. I feel slushy. Next, I want to kill this. Return to the sky. All right. You're in for a world Your turn. of pain. My dragon and I are one. You and that darn dragon of yours. Master. Calamity is born again. He's going to evolve one of those. I can feel it. No. Unbelievable! All right. It won't be long now. Let's get rid of him. That was fun. What are you at now? Three, so that's four at the moment. Hmm. Both draw a card. Come on, come on. Now I would sub into two golems, but you like the cold? <laughs> Sorry, I've got to take a break. You like the cold? Hmm. <laughs> you like the cold? <laughs> you like the cold? Ah. <laughs> uh. There must be more to this world. I do want to get two more cards. Now. The world's mysteries are unraveling. I wish I would have had her earlier. That would have been helpful. But Show me what you can I do. Didn't. Hmm. This is going to be troublesome. I honestly don't want him to evolve that, that but he's probably going to get that evolve off. So what I want to do is kill that now. Incredible. Incredible. And boost her. I'll blow you away. Time to say goodbye. I knew you were gonna evolve him. Shows You're all through. I'm. I yeah, I pretty much lost slow. this because this guy is just gonna That's what I like guard to the rest see. of the team. So yeah, after this, we're gonna do the card pack opening. So Rip not getting Turn a good hand. Watch. Our swords will cross the sky. Come on, come on. You like 
the cold? Do you like the cold? I feel slushy. I feel slushy. Incredible. Sadly, I have to attack him since he has the little Time shield on to it. say goodbye. Yep, go ahead and kill me. Looks like you won. Yeah, it takes me a little bit of time to get past this story. Jeez. But, as you guys can see, like I was saying, my stuff is really not all that good for, like, PvP or PvE right now. But I'm still gaining a lot more. No, I don't want to battle again. I want to get out of here so I can open my cards. And I'm pretty sure I have, like, 15 of them to open. So, let's go to it right now. And open them. Cards. Buy packs. And here we go. I have one card pack right here in standards. And then this is just the special ones. I have 15 of them to open. So right now I'm going to open the standard one first and see what I get out of it. Right now I'm more of the uh, Necro... The Shadowcraft uh, player. Than I am the uh, Rune... Craft. Even though Runecraft is actually pretty fun to play too. Oh. Alright, hold up, hold up. What does she do? Okay, that is actually pretty decent. Whoa. And yes, you can actually uh, pretty much change their art. You can actually get an up close view of it and pretty much see how they look. The art in the um, Rise of. Uh, no, Rage of Bahamut is actually really good, so I'm happy they stuck with the art as they went to Shadowverse. Because the art style I always loved. Now, you can actually see what um, what class they're part of, and this one's part of Shadowcraft, so that's actually pretty good for me. And there's some holograph cards inside of here as well, which are pretty rare. I'm not sh Sadly, there's no like trading card system. It's pretty much a collectible card game, if anything. So... Also got this card, which is Swordcraft, which I actually did need some Swordcraft. Then there's Neutrals, which pretty much just play with any deck. So, now guys, here goes the 15 packs. Now I could have all, no, I should have just opened them all at the same time. I probably would have saved a little bit of time, but just going back one, then one. All right, hope for something good. Whoa, eh. Some of these cards I've never touched before. Alright, another Shadow Burst card. Summon a zombie as his last word. So if I so if this character gets killed and I have two necromancy points, I pretty much get to summon another zombie. And this is pretty much runes and everything. Um, I'm really hoping for some legendary cards. This one is actually pretty okay. I like her art. She actually looks pretty dope. Uh, let's see. Evolution. Okay, she's Bloodcraft. Even though she doesn't look like a Bloodcraft card. Half of some of these cards I actually question. Because she re really doesn't look like a Bloodcraft. She, if anything, she looks like a Runecraft character. But... There's Dragoncraft too. But like I was saying, pretty much each class has its own different like mechanic to it. So let's go ahead and max this out. Oh, I can only summon 10 at a time, so let's do all 10 of these. Then we'll do the last four. Hmm, what could it be? Alright. Alright, seems like I got a goad. But first, let's look at these. Give it enemy. Oh, God. Until the turn ends? And destroy it okay so if I have five um, enhanced points I can destroy it instead of giving it negative 10 attack until the end of the turn all right that's actually pretty good another necromancy finally another um, shadow craft okay so she's a ward so she protects your um, actual character from taking damage all right I approve of that and let's see this gold card right here. So this is Heavenly Craft, which I don't use a lot. But if I was to throw it down, I could destroy a random enemy. And then if you destroy this card, it destroys another random enemy. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. I think this is a rune too. 
Yeah, this is an amulet. So this stays up for quite a while. All right, that's actually pretty good. All right, Dragoncraft. Your follower's spell gets, okay, one damage up. That's actually pretty good. All right, I need to stop like sitting here looking at the cards, but the only problem with it is if I don't look at these cards now, they're gonna be lost in the rest of my cards. There is no like section where you look at all of them like new. So yeah. All right, all right. So we got two good ones here. Oh, we got a hologram too. Shadowcraft, destroy an enemy follower with one defense. Oh, okay, that's gonna be good. If you have enough shadow points, you can use the ch Okay. So if I have eight necromancy points, I can destroy an enemy follower with two or more instead. So that's just pretty much an instant kill spell as well. Alright, some of these cards are actually pretty balanced, trust me. When you're playing in this game, it's like really intense because some of these cards are actually pretty balanced. Balance. They may sound like they're stupidly OP, but they're actually not. There are actually a lot of cards that need to be killed because some of them like turn unkillable really quickly. So that's why you need like auto kill cards just to balance out some of the some of the uh, creatures in the game. Equal to the strongest enemy. Oh my god, that is actually. Okay, so he's pretty much like a copy card, but he doesn't get the same stamina as them, but he can pretty much just kill them if they have um, low, so it's pretty much like a stage, so if they attack each other, it's just automatically, automatically death. So that's actually a pretty good card. Alright, so what do we get here? We got another guest. Yeah, ghostly. Ah, my bad. <laughs> now, hologram cards, they are separated from the uh, normal cards, so... Yeah, you're gonna have to pretty much be searching around for the holograms if you just want to create, like, a whole hologram deck. Ah, uh, darn, she's Bloodcraft. At the end of your turn, gain two... Po oh. I don't know about taking two damage to my leader, though. I mean, it's good to... Bloodcraft pretty much works on your HP, I'm pretty sure. The lower the HP, the... Just... Oh, my god. Bloodcraft is actually pretty annoying because there are some skills that pretty much drain from your enemies. And... Just the whole character, he just pretty much... Takes damage to his own HP. When he gets to a certain amount of HP, he goes into vengeance mode. And all of those uh, pretty much cards that you summon that have a vengeance mode status actually activate. So there could be a card with like a vengeance, uh, a vengeance mode. He gets like a bonus damage. That automatically activates if your character is in vengeance mode. So low HP is bad for us. All right, so your sword craft, summon a knight, and deals X damage to an enemy equal to the number of cards, or well, allies in play. Okay, I did not look at her damage. Okay, that is actually pretty good. If you have a full field, she's pretty much gonna be a really strong card. Now the traits and everything are pretty much um, used mostly in sword craft. So there's commanders and different other skills. So let's say if a dude had like summon a commander, you can actually summon a commander or increase a commander's attack or defense. You can actually increase the commander's defense and all that. So yeah. Summon two ghosts. Ooh. Wait, how is this for... Uh, I have no idea. Oh my god. I got dates. Now this card I loved inside the... Uh, inside a Rage of Bahamut. 
because the, his art style was so dope. But he's a rush. Oh my god, hold up. Now you can't click on these and just see um, what all of these do. Rush. Followers that have rush can attack an enemy follower on the same turn that it's played. On the next turn, they are able to attack attack the um, leader. So he's just pretty much a summon and attack. But the thing that puzzles me so much is that he's so low inside of attack and defense. But and eh, it's it's okay. Wow, whoa, whoa! Why is he dragon craft? Okay. Uh, Bane or Ban, whichever one. Uh, followers that have been banned or banned automatically destroy any other any other follower they attack. Oh, yeah, this pretty much banish. Yes, yeah, ban. Pretty much banish a uh, card that it doesn't like. <laughs> so it's just pretty much an automatic kill. So that's why he's pretty strong. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, this card pack, is, pack opening is going to be pretty long. Probably going to be half of the video. Because I have to look at these or I won't like remember them. Now I do play this game pretty often. But this is pretty much a game I have not been playing for the channel or anything. This is just pretty, pretty much my take a break game. Eh. Okay, there's some cards that... Their evolutions don't look as good as their uh, normal. Like this one looks way really better unevolved. I didn't even see her eyes. I thought her eyes were like closed. But there are some really unique art styles. Every card in this game has like art change to it as it evolves. Except for like the spells and the um, runes and amulets. Well, relics, I guess that's what they're called. Okay, I got another one. Oh my god. Alright, that was actually a good pack. What? Alright, first put an ultimate carrot into the card. Is this guy fighting with fruit? Or... I think he's fighting with... He's fighting with, like, skeleton apples. What? God, I've... I haven't played Rage of Bahamut in so long that some of these characters kind of puzzled me. Okay, give your al- oh my god. Gives them rush and gives them a uh, plus two attack and defense, which is actually pretty dope. This is a neutral character as well. Okay, hey, hey. I wasn't done looking at that. Eh, I don't know which one looks better. Personally, I like the gold wings, but I love uh, this a little too. Alright, put a random amulet from your deck into your hand. Huh. If I have an amulet that I would actually really need, then yeah, that would be actually pretty good. Heavencraft. Okay, some of these characters really don't look like their class, which honestly do puzzle me. Looks like they kind of stuck some random characters into different classes just to balance out the uh, like cards and everything. So this guy starts off with Ward and he's Forest Craft. So attack... Oh, did 2 damage to all enemies if at least 2 of the other cards were in play. Nah, ah. <laughs> I totally went off sentence with that. Deal 2 damage to all enemies if at... At least two other cards have been played. Okay, yeah, so if you played two cards before this, then it does that. I'm so sorry. My tongue just like went far off into the distance. Alright, never seen this guy before. Alright, randomly discard the lowest cost in your hand. Hmm? Friendly discard one of the lowest cost cards in your hand two times. So if you had a card that requires you to have like, I guess, this card and you would like get a bonus to it, maybe that would be really good. But his last words is actually the thing that interests me. When he dies, you get to draw three cards. 
I don't know about that. If I was, like, in a pinch, maybe. Alright. Destroy an enemy... Enemy follower that costs two play points or less. Alright, that's actually pretty good. So, if you just... So if he just throws out a minion just to keep you at bay, then yeah, it's probably would be the best thing for an enemy or element that costs five or less. Instead, if the card, okay, if two, if at least two other cards were played before this card, you're gonna see a lot of that in forest in forest craft. So do make sure to have low cost cards. Give it ally. Oh my god. You're dangerous. I'm gonna have to look out for you. You're you're really da dangerous. I don't Oh god. That's gonna be quite a troublesome card. Alright. Guys, here's our last pack out of the tin. Let's see. Gain one attack and ward if you have a commander in play. Alright, so if you have a commander, like I was saying, this is what I was talking about, the whole traits thing. If you have a commander on the field, he gets the increased stats and, then, and he gets ward. Ward is pretty much like tanking damage. So if a ward character is up, you saw, you guys saw inside the game, there's like a little shield popping up on the cards. That means you cannot attack the leader directly. You have to kill this card in order you for you to... Um, well, you have to kill the awarded card in, in order for you to attack the leader. So, wards can really save lives. So, I do recommend having them. Alright, that's... That's actually pretty cool looking. I did, I did not have an animation of that. But, here are our last four cards, guys, then I'm going to end it there. Do you guys pretty much see how how the game is pretty much similar to, um, to Hearthstone? If you guys want some more in-depth tutorials, you guys can probably look around on the internet. So much to explain, to be honest. Like, every, every different, like, class has a different, like, playstyle. If I was to actually do it in this video, this video would probably be, like, an hour or too long if I was to, like, make like a really in-depth guide to the game this is the only, pretty much a really fun game i actually enjoy playing all right summon okay yeah and evolve it so that's actually pretty good can attack twice per turn what well at least she costs eight eight orbs so i'm not really all that worried but if she gets on the field i'm gonna have to kill her quick or she'll kill, end up killing herself. That's not a really good card unless you have something to sustain her with. Art of the Ninja. Do damage to an enemy. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Do four damage to an enemy. Then summon a Master Ninja if you have eight enchant. Enhance. Ah. Two damage to your leader. And six damage to an um, enemy. See, this is what I'm talking about. Bloodcraft works on its HP, so you have to be careful. I mean, some of the uh, spell cards actually gives him HP back, and some of his actual like faction cards actually give him HP back as well. So you can pretty much just play around with back and forth with your HP and just. But that's actually a dangerous um, class to actually play with. But if you can have, but if you have really good cards for it, then hey, you're good. Forest bats. I thought forest bats were uh, forest craft. Guess not. But this is ward, so I never heard of clash. Followers with the clash ability activates before deal damage is dealt. Whenever, okay, so it, before he's attacked, he summons uh, forest bat. Okay. What are you? Oh yeah, I remember you. Alright. Alright, so she just summons that. There's a lot of summoning cards, so... Do make sure to... Use your bet. Oh my god, that was blinding. Okay. 
My last pack ended up into a really good one. Sweet. All right, you. I've never seen you. Summon two. Oh my God. Summon two knights. Okay. Enhanced. SP enhanced. So uh, I'm really gonna have to figure out the whole enhanced system. Or I can click on this. If you have enough play points, they're automatically sent to the activate enhance effect. Okay. So it just pretty much plays off your points. So if I have six points, did that also allow me to... Huh. I'm going to have to try that out later. I don't really use enhanced cards, to be honest. So if I, so if I involve this, two damage to everyone. Nice, nice. Runecraft. Another Runecraft card. That would probably help. Let's see what this effect is, though. Whenever an enemy t is destroyed during your turn, summon a zombie. Alright, that's actually pretty decent. At the end of your turn, perf perform um, Earth Right, which is pretty much just like little things that stay on the field and take up room. But if you have cards to like use those runes that are still on the like map and everything, it actually works out pretty well. I know some of you guys are like really confused right now. Okay, another room for F. Alright. Banish all cards in your hand, draw five, and then spell boost those cards in your hand five times. Subtracts subtracts from the card cost of zero of this card. Oh okay. So each time you like spell boost, this score goes down so you could potentially get her to one and you could just throw her out i know another card exactly like that which is actually pretty good i'm gonna keep holding on to her because i normally use this spell boost deck for like uh what was it runecraft and deal damage to the user each time she's attacked but well no not deal damage to the user to the enemy when she's evolved as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the whole card opening. The card was automatically claimed. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed the visit to Shadowverse. I definitely recommend it for anybody who's looking for another Hearthstone game to try out. Like, you don't have to actually, like, switch over from this game. I mean, playing it now and then, it's, like, really fun. And you guys will actually see that. It has a really more, like, interesting system than Hearthstone in my opinion but that's my opinion I'm not throwing any shade on uh, Hearthstone I played it for a while it's actually pretty good I just couldn't get into it myself so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the game and try it out for yourselves the game is actually pretty intense for a Hearthstone for a Hearthstone like game but I will see you guys next time make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter and peace out